Hassan, we want to hear what are you telling us? What assurance are you giving us? And when I went there, uh, some, I talked to them in my mother tongue for them to vote for Governor Sakaja. It cannot be when they are crying, when they are complaining. I cannot talk the same language. Okay. And I talked to them when I was appealing to them to vote for him. You said, wale wanaopanga hii upuzi wa siharibu hii Kenya, hii Kenya imekuwa na matatizo mengi, wakijaribu hiyo maneno, wa Kenya hawata kubali. What, what is being organized? Nini napangwa? Uh, you know there are many schemes that are going on every day. You have I seen meetings. You have seen meetings um, uh, of uh, trying to divide the people of Mount Kenya region. You have seen meetings of undermining the deputy president. You have seen people being called and being offered money to impeach the deputy president, to remove him from office, and all that nonsense that is going on. And I was saying, you see, some are elected by the people. And I asked the people directly uh, whether they have a problem with my leadership. And they said they don't have. I drew my mandate directly from the people. Uh, and what I, was saying, yeah. what I was saying, anybody who has a problem with my leadership, anybody who has a problem with my conduct, yeah, mm -hmm. has every business to talk to my employer, the people of Kenya. Okay. Those are the people who make uh, decisions uh, over my conduct. Those are the people who can appraise my performance. Those are the people who can give an opinion as to what they think I'm doing, whether it's right or wrong. Okay. You're saying that uh, people have been offered money to remove you from office. How so? Uh, it's the worst kept secret in Kenya. I leave it alone. No, but you're talking about it. How much money has been offered? Well, uh, it's neither here nor there. It is. I think let's go for, for, for uh, more informative discussion. No, we will get there, Deputy President. We just want to dispense with this because you're the one who is saying it, that people are being offered money. Mm. Indeed, that's a crime, isn't it? Yes, of course it's a crime. So who's so, offering the money? Uh, you know. No, I don't know. <laughs> you get to know. I don't know, Deputy President. You get to know. These things will come out as uh, in, the, in the fullness of time. Uh, these are things that will come out uh, in the public domain. Why would they want you out? I don't know. I don't know. What are they telling you? They'll tell us. They, when they want to get us out, they'll tell us. <laughs> they say that I'm high-headed. Yeah, that I am too people-centered. You know, uh, that I'm, you know, I'm listening to people too much. You know, that I am tasking people to listen to what Kenyans are saying. I don't think it's a crime. I think uh, leadership mm -hmm. is about the people. And for you to be a good leader, you need to listen to the people. And I keep on listening to the people myself. And I keep on asking leaders, my fellow leaders, to listen to the people. And uh, I'll continue listening to the people. And that's what I was doing today. And I'm wiser this evening than I was in the morning when I left here. Mm. I've known many things. I am well informed. Because you must listen to your employer because it's important that you listen to your employer. You're saying that people who have a problem with you should consult the people. In what forum? I mean, where is that in the Constitution? Consulting the people about leadership. So that they can take action against you. I mean, where, where do you place that in the well, Constitution? Well, I'm talking about leadership. I'm saying before you take any decision on any issue, on matters governance, on matters leadership, it's important that you listen to what the people are saying all the time. And that's what I do myself. I don't, even the Constitution, 2010 Constitution, you know, gives public participation as an integral part of our governance structure. Mm -hmm. That anything that affects the people drastically, you need to listen to them. You need to go to them. You have seen many things going to court and being thrown out for lack of adequate public participation. Mm -hmm. Public participation is part and parcel of our life in this country. And more so in matters leadership, in matters governance. Deputy President, who told you there was a plan to impeach you? I am a consumer of information. When you call